Some will yell for excitement, but others will weep as tensions rise when playing Loteria. It's not a die-hard board game, but it can quickly get competitive as you mainly play against your family or friends. It's always been really a part of our family. So. For centuries, Loteria has been a staple in the Mexican culture. But among Mexican families... Well, I really don't remember when we started playing Loteria. Growing up involved pan dulce, champurrado, and Loteria. It's like a part of our, or the family. La Loteria originated in Europe and came to Mexico by way of Spain. In 1887, French entrepreneur Don Clemente Jaques created La Loteria El Gallo, which is the most traditional format of the gameplay today. It includes 54 cards with a series of pictures and a random number of tablas or boards. Each of these have 16 images, four horizontal and four vertical. To play, the deck of cards is shuffled. A person is assigned El Cantor or the Crier to draw a card at a time. And traditionally, bean seeds are used as chips. When a player gets four chips in a row, the four middle, the four corners, or the full card, you win and say... You don't even really speak, uh, speak the language. You literally just look at pictures and you're, you know, you're setting down little beans or little rocks on on a piece of paper, so it's really quick to grasp. Manuel Garcia remembers playing the game as a child in his hometown of Juarez, Chihuahua, Mexico. Now, still playing alongside his parents, but next to him, his own children too. This is a very great opportunity for the family to share together, to spend time together. Throughout the years, La Loteria has been updated to include millennial trends and memes. It's now even on clothing, and at a pivotal point in Arizona, turn political. I put things that were happening at the time. In 2010, when SB 1070, the broadest and strictest anti-illegal immigration legislative act in the U.S. was passed in Arizona, Annette Sexton Ruiz created new cards with characters and images depicting the controversy. It is our duty as artists to let the community know, to let time know um, what was happening in our time to tell what's going on in our society. With time, La Loteria is bound to continue to evolve, but it's certain to remain an essential part of the Mexican culture. Do you think there's a Hispanic household that does not have a Loteria? If there are, I haven't yet to meet them. <laughs> Adriana Loya, Loteria. 12 News. Loteria.